Okay, so I'm here at Lemon Park today. I'm over here with Elizabeth. I've been following her for a while. And uh, actually, you, I mean, I couldn't find you uh, to talk to you again. But you were just telling me that you, you got into the hospital. And yes. what's, what was the position? That it was um, around the first week of um, June that I was attacked in my sleep in borderlines of Anaheim and Fullerton, the city yeah. limits. And it's on orange soap and lemon where I woke up before I figured out there's something wrong with the back of my head, and that's when I figured out I was hitting my head and raped and I taken from my spot, put back, back in my spot. By the time, about a few days later, three days later, I ended up finding the hospital because whatever they affected inside of my skull, it, it affected my body, my, my way of turning right to get to Anaheim Medical Center. By the time I got there, I let the cops know on just the 5th of July that I ended up at Kramer because I couldn't turn right because of the hit in my head. And then by the time I got to the hospital, I was so scared. So they housed, they it, they put me in the hospital. The hospital did the emergency room. They took pictures at the emergency room inside the emergency room, and then they 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 wiped up the mucus off the back of my head. The heat from my head was released out of my head. What you feel like a fever at, normally when you grow up, but this time the heat was released out of my head, and I remember it feeling burn in the back of my neck. And then I remember being flaky from the hot mucus. The mucus was hot itself. And I never felt that before in my life. And when Did you go in into a coma or anything like no. that? Just, okay, so I they took you to the hospital and then from after the hospital, uh, did you go to any other uh Yeah, the city? hospital had me in a cab and they took me to Midway City. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where I ended up. But after after you recuperated, did they give you any, any other option to go to a no, housing? Or? I was able to fill up for a disability, but my doctor approved it, but I haven't gotten my mail because I had left. So now you're still out here in the streets? Yeah. Uh, Sleeping in the same spot with Derek. Yeah. I, I made it an effort to come out here to tell Derek because I didn't want Derek hit. I thought maybe uh -huh. <laughs> they were going to come back, but they never came back. Oh, I'm hoping wow. that you, know, you do get some kind of housing, oh, well. you and Derek. Thank you. Because uh, if you guys at least get a, a room over there at the Salvation Army together, uh, we'll be pushing for that. I was wondering what happened, what happened because when I went to the hospital, they were talking about all the heroin addicts. They were talking about all the drug addicts in the homeless people on the street. I remember how fast they wanted me back out the street, back back into a... Back, I mean, they wanted me out of the hospital, and then they wanted me out of Midway City at Elimination. They wanted me out of that other place. They're like, well, why can't you go with your kids? Why? Like, rushing me big time. They're like, why are you guys pushing me out of here if I'm like, getting approved my extensions? My extensions are approved because of my doctor appointments. And I haven't missed any doctor appointments after the hospital. And it was weird because when I gave him my clothes, inside of my clothes in another bag was rotten food. And, mm -hmm. like, food, like, I've been looking at in the dumpsters out here. Like like a threat or something like you're a homeless person, stay a homeless person or something like mm -hmm. that. And that's what I got from it. So there is something big going on out here, and I don't know what it is. But I've never had to deal with um, this type of um, injury in my life, and I've never heard about it out here. But if there is, then you know, eventually uh, we'll probably see it again in the newspaper or something. You know? Yeah, because it's, it's you know with your what happened to you has happened to a lot of other women. So yeah. we're trying to get you know to where either a structured campground yeah. because housing is not you know you've been waiting for a long time yeah. to get I, I don't, somewhere. I don't, I don't want, the only thing I was worried about was my kids because I don't know how much information they got of me or my family members. So I'm, I'm praying because my kids grew up out here, mm -hmm. all three of them. My daughter was born in Martin Luther King. My son was born at Anaheim West, I mean Western Medical, right there at one hospital, that small hospital. And then my daughter was born at Saddleback, my youngest. So she's the only one born at Saddleback. The other two were born out here. That's why I was comfortable coming out here because of my divorce. And I was thinking over, well, what do I owe this person? What is my mom owe? And I was raised by my daddy. I don't know who my daddy is, but I realized that it, had, it might be something to do with my cousin because when my cousin came out here when I was 16, I was living out here on Baker Street and I was working at Chuck E. Cheese right here before they closed it down and then Jane was my ma Jane was my manager at Taco Bell and I had worked there after Chuck E. Cheese. Let me ask you, has uh, CityNet or any other uh, have come and engaged with you or mm -hmm. giving you some kind of uh, information about the shelters? No, none. And you guys well, are we not... Got, we got information, but every I try to go and they, and 
and then they said they're gonna come, they didn't come. And then I waited at the bus stop, they didn't come. And then I waited with another friend, they didn't come. And I waited again, they didn't come. I was like, ah. Oh. So, and every time I try to go, I go, but they don't take me in. I was like, forget it. And I stopped trying. I'm not trying. Because you guys are trying to get a, like, a, with you together, right? Yeah. Because only we Salvation did, Army. I was doing it separate too, like, the fastest uh -huh. I could do. But when we're, him too, he's doing his own thing too, like, his own, his own paperwork and all that too. Uh -huh. But if we could do it together, we'll do it together. Because now he's more worried about me because of my attack. So he's more protective with me yeah. about surroundings and stuff. But it's, it's sad because I didn't expect nothing like this, especially yeah. when I don't own nobody. Man. Well, now you're you're kind of more in danger because you don't know if your attacker your attacker never got caught, did he? No. He never I don't did an so. investigation. Because I saw that guy there, that black guy there with the black oh, car. So um, he parked right there across the street. See right here at the warehouse. Uh -huh. Yeah. You drive out of here of the parking lot, you go straight through. Yeah. That's where the attack happened, and it, it was there was oh. the attacker. I thought that I that I actually turned in was the new homeless guy yeah. in the black car, and he got upset with me because I asked him can, um, if I guess he got upset because I asked for some crystal and he didn't have any to sell, right? And he sat there and came up to me with a Coca Cola bottle. After I drank that Coca Cola bottle, that's when I fell out, and that's oh. why I knew it was him. But he ain't oh. been arrested. Yeah, so I'm I'm glad that Derek's looking after you, but yeah. at this time, you know, I'm gonna kind of cut it right now and kind of talk to you a little more about see right. what we could do regarding you guys getting somewhere and if we could talk to city net illumination foundation or somebody because this is I was kind of like an emergency there would be nice if you just somebody just live in a garage they, they, they start opening up the garages for the homeless Mm -hmm. Or start opening up their yard. We could put a tent in someone's yeah. yard or something. Well, you know, I've been advocating for a structure campgrounds for a long time. I know, you've been I, trying to help us a lot. And everybody else that I talk to, everybody wants that yeah. versus a shelter. So yeah. we still keep fighting for it. And right now, we know other, like Sacramento, wow. San Clemente, have opened just empty lots yeah. for people. So I went walking around and I was looking. I saw, when I touched the back of my head, I felt like a hammer. Thing, like the end of a hammer thing. I felt that dent and dent it like you're not a god. Damn, I felt like a hammer. It's like, ooh. and then when I was looking around looking for a weapon, I thought I had found it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But, okay, well, Elizabeth, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your information right. after after I talk. You know, this year. So I'm glad that I find you guys out here. So I know. this is good. Okay. All right. Thank this is Luna, People's Media.